This is Obi. He's my new little kitten. I have two cats and I love them so much. Hey guys, so today's tutorial is going to be a special one because I have an announcement. I'm going to be going to LA with NYX Cosmetics to the NYX Face Awards. Yes! I'll be representing Australia along with uh, Nikki Joy. Not competing, just coming to hang out and do NYX things. I went for like a kind of opalescent pastel-y rainbow thing. I feel a bit like a nymph, like a pixie wood nymph thingy. Just a disclaimer before I start, uh, the products that I'm using were sent to me by NYX. Some of them I bought myself, but I feel like I have to tell you that before I start. Disclaimers, just so we're all on the same page, you know? So just off camera, I've used the Photo Loving Primer and then the Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation in the color Soft Beige. I also contoured my face using the NYX Wonder Stick, which is amazing. So now taking my new favorite brow pencil ever, the NYX Micro Brow. This one's in the color Ash Brown. And I'm just going to, oh my God, Luna, stop. I'm just going to brush my eyebrows down and then fill them in using quick, short little brush strokes to make like fake hairs. So then I went ahead and winged out the end and just filled in the arch, just filled it on in there. I think this color might be a little bit too warm for me. So I'm gonna go back and grab a darker shade next time I'm at NYX, but when you use the brush spoolie, it kind of, you can't really tell. Anyway, I think it still works. So I'm just gonna finish up shaping the brow and this is me reacting, because I think it looks amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna take this double-ended brow pencil as I did in my last tutorial and I'm just gonna take the lighter end and use that to sort of really bring out my brow. I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone and then blend it in using my finger. To set those brows, I'm gonna use Control Freak, which is my go-to brow setting gel thing. And next up, I'm gonna grab the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm gonna use that as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna blend that in with my finger so I don't have to be too perfect with it, but this is just gonna make all our colors pop, especially because we're gonna be using a lot of lighter colors. Um, taking the NYX Beauty on the Go palette and taking this tan color on a fluffy brush, I'm gonna use that as a transition color in my crease. Very light, doesn't have to be too perfect either because we're gonna put stuff over the top of it. Next up, we're gonna take this pale purple lavender shade and we're gonna put that towards the inner corner, not fully in the inner corner, but just in a corner lid area. I'm grabbing a prismatic shadow in Frostbite. This thing is amazingly beautiful. Putting that on the very inner corner and just look at the reflex on that. Like that's kind of like got a duochrome reflection-y vibe. I can't explain it to you. Um, darker purple there I'm taking back from the other palette and I'm gonna use that on the outer corner and kind of just create like a bit more dimension but not too much dimension. So you'll see here that I blended out a little bit because I just want everything to be quite soft to begin with. Next up I'm taking another prismatic color. This is in Girl Talk and I'm just gonna use that on the inner corner of the underneath to kind of create like a, I don't know, some highlight as well as my brow bone as you can see there. And then I'm gonna grab Prismatic in Mermaid. This is so me. It's this beautiful turquoisey shimmery color and I'm popping that under my eye, kind of concentrating it more towards the outer corner. And here I'm just blending a little bit more girl talk across. Now we're gonna take a dark purple again, the same dark purple as before, and we're really just gonna pack it in there on the outer corner and really just get that depth. So now I'm taking a soft pink and on a pencil brush, I'm going to use that towards the outer side, up towards the crease just to blend and really bring in that kaleidoscope of like opal colors. I think this pink really just pushes it forward. And then I got this rose gold here, which is amazing. Oh my God. Uh, I really just wanted to get some more shimmer in there. Like everything I'm putting on is shimmery, 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 because I want to be an opalescent fairy princess. Yeah, so now I'm going to grab some roll-on shimmer and this is the white one. I forget what it's called, but I'm popping it on the inner corner of my eye just to really get that bling. Now I'm gonna take some concealer and on a flat brush, I'm gonna use that just to clean up any fallout or just get that crisp line. You can put tape down first if you want to, but this is just how I like to do things. I'm a clean up afterwards, not, uh, not a prepared person. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna take some finishing powder and set that concealer and then I'm gonna grab the matte liquid liner and create like a really, really elongated wing, keeping it very much on the outer corner. Now I'm taking some Pin Up Tease Mascara and I'm just gonna pop that on my lashes. I popped it a little bit on the bottom lash before I go in with the Wonder Pencil uh, along my waterline. This one's in the color Light. And now I got inspired by this colored mascara. Um, this is Mint Julep and it is beautiful. And 
I probably wouldn't have put mascara on first had I known I was going to do this. Uh, this one here is in Forget Me Not and it is beautiful. So I put that sort of towards the outer edge. Sorry, this isn't in focus. And that's my sister. She came in and joined me and my microphone wasn't on. So I just thought you should enjoy her checking out her uh, face in my magnified mirror. <laughs> Um, so then I'm going back in and I'm going to take the prismatic color as a highlight. This is Girl Talk again. And I'm using it as a highlight just because I was like, why not? Let's try it on our face. And then I got inspired because if anyone's seen the Moonchild highlighters, I'm not going to say which brand they're by, but I tried to do the same thing here with Frostbite and I think it works. Uh, so for uh, blush, I grabbed Hamptons and I'm just concentrating that towards the apples of my cheek. And then we're going to grab some white eyeliner and draw on the signature a star as I always do. So I got some glitters there, I just decided to pop some pink on uh, the upper area of my cheekbones. For the lips I'm going to use a liquid suede as always. Uh, this is in the colour Tea and Cookies I think it's called. It's a beautiful pinky, pretty pink colour and I'm just going to pop that all over the lip. Lastly, <laughs> I'm going to pop on some falsies. These ones I cut in half and just put on the outer corners and then we're going to pose for the camera. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you liked this tutorial, I'll put all the products and stuff in the description below. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in LA, potentially at the Face Awards. Ah!